Tiny, Mr. Tiny. Alright. See, see, he does a little drum solo like that, and I'm gonna forgive him for dragging me over to the Kiss Putt Putt Golf Course today. Fuck up shit over there. Play. He played. I just took pictures, so that's what I did. And you got a picture of Tiny wearing Gene Simmons' boots, so that's Yeah, let me tell you something. That old fucking monster, big old Gene Simmons, I didn't even fit in his little bitty shoes. Oh! That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying about that. My tongue's a half inch longer than his, and his shoes are a half inch too small. We got one for you. We don't ever play that one because we don't remember it. It's like you get, we're like, we're like, we're like when you go and visit your grandparents and you're stoked that they remember your name, you just kind of treat us the same way.
make it fucking easy. Just because we fucked it up the first time doesn't mean the government still shouldn't be abolished. Alright. I think we've got it now. they can change your point of view. I decided it's my job now to not vote, to not pay taxes, to not participate in any government in any way. And you know what's funny about it? it if you're actually like a Christian guy, you're supposed to do that by law, which is nice. I love that. I love all these guys that say, yes, I'm a good Christian. Let's get that death penalty cranked up. Say that other one. Swearing nose. All of it. Do what? We have, look, at, we played that song one time in 1980. That's the only time we ever played that song. One time. Joke. 
right, here we go. Here we go. Hey, I just... Here we, go. we try it. We try it. I just want to know what's with the fucking dancing with the full smoke hanging out of your mouth. You're like that, that fucking grandma on 16 candles or fucking some shit like that. Dancing with three inches of fucking ash. Fuck yeah. Might as well just break the fucking bong out in the pit. God damn it. So rough. All right, and I hope you're only smoking pot if you're in treatment for some medical illness. All right, here we go. Hey, hey, do you guys know that you can tell how old somebody is by what drugs they did as a kid? Are you aware of that? If they were sniffing glue, that means they're 60s. They're like a project of the 60s, sniffing glue. 1970, it's all about Huff and Pam. If you huffed Pam, you're from the 70s. Going to the 80s, you're getting into Robitussin. Going to the 90s, you're getting into liquid paper. Going to the 2000s, you're getting into the gold and silver spray paint. So I'm just telling you, be very careful about what you're doing. That's how they can tell how old you are. I must have been way ahead of my time, then, Jack. Right, Ronnie. That's why if I'm out in the parking lot making out with a girl and she smells like Robitussin, I know she's old enough to fuck. But if she smells like liquid paper, has gold spray paint around her face, I know that that's not quite ready yet. Alright. Alright, we're here for two shows only this evening. shit stomped out of them these last few years. Fuck. My daughter is bringing home 
skinheads that recycle, these fucking punks that recycle. I don't understand the recycling business. My kid comes home with these peace punks and they're fucking getting like cans and shit out of the trash. I'm like, you're not gonna fucking recycle in my house, little lady. Not gonna have no fucking come outside and have a fucking drum circle in the backyard. You gotta take that shit out of here. Fuck, and now I've turned into my dad. Short hair and I'm yelling at the kids about fucking recycling and hippie shit. All right. Pulling fucking weed plants out of the backyard, fucking toss them in the street. Take that fucking crap out of here. Go get yourself a fucking Mickey's Big Mouth if you want to fucking do something. again for always being so nice to us when we're here. Although Roach is always here, he lives here. And one of my marriages took place here. Just one. Just one. Yeah, I used to have this creepy guy. You guys ever been to the free clinics? Anybody here ever been to the free clinic? No? Alright. There was this fucking creepiest little dude, man. He's like this. And he looked like Peter Lorre. Do you know who Peter Lorre is, right? And I'd go in there and he'd go, Have you ever been with a man? I go, no. He goes, not even once. Buy it once. It was late at night. I was tired. I had a couple of cocktails in me. 
I've been drinking Roman Tussin all night. I got a little out of Hey, you gotta pay for your ride home, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the good thing is my uncle moved out of town just right after that. Alright, alright, come on, I'm sorry. I know jokes about incest and girls are bad these days. What happened to this country? You used to be able to joke about incest and it's... It's done. This Obama administration has taken all the fun out of everything. You know it's fucked? When Obama first got to be president, I felt bad saying shit about him. It's like some guilt. I had some guilt. And then after a while, I just said, fuck it, throw them on with everybody else. Fuck, fuck them, fuck them all. But I did give him a couple months grace period before I started talking shit. All right, here we go. This is our last one. Thank you again for having us.